Top five best all white sneakers for 2023. Hey everybody, I'm Akadoris and welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that covers in that videos of cars and streetwear. And today we're kicking it off with another top five list. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of people been searching around for white sneakers. I've been asked for a lot of white sneakers and some comments down below have been asking once again for white sneakers. So I decided why not make a list so before we get into it be sure to like and share for that youtube algorithm as well as subscribe any support would just be awesome now let's get right to it Alrighty, our first sneaker on this list kind of controversial is the yeezy 350 bone white now i would prefer the triple white but those have kind of gone a little bit too much in price these are a lot more affordable for the everyday person even though they're still kind of expensive with uh, reset prices going high 200s to low 300 dollars range oh these shoes are still pretty awesome you got that awesome 350 styling as well as the comfort however we do got a problem with these and that is uh mr kanye west a lot of people have not been buying 350s and kind of staying away at 350s because of the whole ordeal with kanye west and it's still kind of going on a lot of people have been just kind of slowing down a lot with the whole 350 buying but if that stuff is behind you guys and you really don't care just want a great white and comfortable sneaker i would get these even though it could be a little bit more on the pricey side i still think that these sneakers are worth it just for the sheer versatility of these sneakers. I mean, these are like one of the few sneakers out there that I feel like I can definitely wear every day with just about anything. So yeah, that's why I think the Yeezy 350 bone should still be on your list for white sneakers. The next sneaker on this list, this one is honestly geared towards women. Uh, a lot of people have been saving for some more women's shoes. So here we go. We have the Nike Dunk Low Photon Dust. There is the Nike Dunk Gray Fox. However, they don't really sell too many sizes in like the smaller range for women. So that's why I chose these sneakers right here. So this is a dunk that kind of has two shades of white. Your normal like base white and then kind of like the Photon Dust White. Really cool, has really good contrast and honestly is a really good looking sneaker almost as good as the Gray Fox themselves. And like the 350s, these dunks are pretty versatile too, except minus a little bit of comfort. Dunks do tend to be in the more or less uncomfy side. However, you do gain a little bit of more style in my opinion. Still very versatile. Still you can wear this a lot of things too. And prices are not too bad. They're going just for the low $100 range. You know, these sneakers really haven't hyped that much to go above $200 range. But uh, if you're thinking about buying these sneakers, I would do so because I do think that they can get there. So yeah, the Nike Dunk Photon Dust. Not a bad sneaker for you women out there. Alrighty, our next sneaker we have another Yeezy but kind of less controversial because everybody still is just going crazy for these the Yeezy slide bone named just like the 350 this is kind of like the white colorway for the Yeezy slide if you guys looking for a good summer slide or just a casual slide in general this is it I can't really name too many slides that are probably more comfortable and I would rather wear than this slide a lot of slides have a problem with like it giving me blisters around the top and just being over on um, really uncomfortable over time However, this slide is kind of an exception because I can wear this thing all day. So it being the bone colorway, it's not exactly white. It's more of a cream white, but white enough to put on the list. This slide is pretty cool too. I always really like the styling of Yeezy Slide. It's very ergonomic, very designer-like, I would say. Once again, this slide is on the pricier side, actually more than the Dunks. They're going for just about the mid to high $100 range, which is a lot for a slide. It is, but there's not really too many slides that are better than this one. So that's why I would say it's worth it. So yeah, the Adidas Yeezy Slide Bone. If you want a white slide, this one's not too bad. Now for probably the more basic shoe on this list, I I had the shoe on so many lists of mine, but it's a really good shoe. We had the New Balance 550 white gray. The neutral gray, call it what you want. This is a pretty white shoe with hints of gray on it. And those hints of gray is done really, really well. This is a very well executed shoe. That's why the shoe is pretty, being pretty popular because overall just look and aesthetic of how they did this 550 is pretty damn solid more comfortable than the dunks not as comfortable as the 350 but definitely a lot more versatility you know with that all white and a little bit of that gray can you can kind of mix it up a little bit too prices are pretty cheap i think this is the cheapest shoe on this list which is crazy this is definitely a big bargain here so the prices are just about the low hundred dollar range and obviously at that price this sneaker is pretty worth it so the new balance 550 white grays if you want to get hit with the trend this is the way to do it as always i like to save the best for last and obviously it's jordan it's the jordan 3 white 
cement reimagined. This sneaker released this year and it is a very spectacular sneaker here. So we're getting a OG silhouette with an OG colorway with a little bit of a spin on it. So the reimagined has kind of got this retro look for it. So there's a lot of white on this sneaker, but a lot of the white is kind of like aged a little bit. So it's a little bit more yellow white, but there's still enough white on this sneaker to where I feel like it concluded on the list, even though it's got all this other crazy stuff going on, like the elephant print and the black trim and a little bit of red there too. Stunning sneaker. This is the kind of white sneaker you want. Slick with a little bit of pop. And I would argue that this white sneaker is probably the most versatile of them all with all the colors and all the styling of it. Not as comfortable as the slides or the 350s, but still up there. You know, I would think these ones are better than Dunks, but not as good as the 550s. So you may not be able to wear them every day, but you're going to want to wear them every day because these are such a dope shoe. Prices of these are not too bad. You know, they're right now at the low $100 range. You know, some of them are going below retail too, which I think is an absolute steal if you can get them for that. Besides that though, you still not pay much over retail and these sneakers are definitely worth it, man. I mean, almost a must have white sneaker definitely for sure probably one of the better sneakers that released this year so i would say for the jordan 3 white cement reimagined if you're looking for something white get these and yeah that about rounds up our list of the top five white sneakers for 2023 what do you guys think about it comment down below your opinion like and share for that youtube background and last but certainly not least subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video